hello everyone today in this video lesson we would like to talk about motion of a charged particle in an electric field let us consider a charged particle having a charge plus q and it's moving initially with a velocity u in the horizontal direction like this let we have applied an electric field in the vertically upward direction like this as this charged particle is in the electric field it will experience a force we know the definition of electric field as force experienced by unit positive charge when it is placed in a field so the force experienced by the charged particle equal to eq we also know that a positive charge experiences the force along the direction of the field a positive charge experiences the force along the direction of the field whereas a negative charge experiences the force against the direction of the field now the force is along the y direction so along x direction there is no force i am simply ignoring the gravity assuming that it's a small force ignoring the gravitational force i would like to say velocity along the x direction even after some time i have write a formula ux plus ax into t ux is u there is no force acting along the x direction therefore there is no acceleration along x direction so vx is nothing but equal to ux velocity along x direction remains the same but along y direction if i want to write if i want to write along y direction i can say vy equal to using a formula v equal to u plus at ay into t what is that ay because of the force i can write f is ma but i would like to say this a is acting along y direction is eq that implies i can say acceleration along the y direction is nothing but eq by m it has no initial velocity along y direction that is zero so that is eq by m and t so the particle along the y direction is not having a constant velocity rather it is having a variable velocity with respect to time eq by m into t suppose if you are interested in calculating what is the total velocity is say you want to write what is the total velocity is and i can write v bar as vx i cap as well as vy j cap vx is nothing but ux i cap vy is nothing but eq by m into t multiplied by j cap what is the angle made by that velocity vector i can calculate by writing a formula vy by vx that is eq by m and t is the vy vx is nothing but equal to ux itself i'm now not only interested in calculating the velocities i am also interested in calculating displacements displacements i want to calculate now say after some time along x axis suppose i want to write i will write x equal to ut plus half a t square ut is nothing but ut but there is no acceleration along x axis so i can write x equal to ut if it is required in the place of t we can further write in the place of t nothing but x divided by u similarly adding the displacement along y axis if i have written the displacement along y axis we can write y equal to u y into t and half a y into t square we know u y is zero a y we have already calculated as eq by m and t square suppose i want to express this equation eliminating t i can write half eq by m in the place of t 
I can write x by u whole square. So, I can further simplify half e q by m x square by u square. If we notice at this given equation half is a constant, e is a constant, q is a constant, m is a constant and u is a constant. Taking all these things into constants as they are constants, I can write equation y as nothing but k x square. That is nothing but mathematically representation of a parabola. That means, this charged particle who is moving in the horizontal direction, if the electric field is applied vertically, it is not going to continue its path horizontally, rather it will deviate its path vertically and takes a parabolic path. This is the y that we have calculated just now this is the x that we have calculated right now. This is how we need to understand the motion of a charged particle under a electric field. Right? Thank you. We will continue this discussion further.